Hi everyone, it's Rachel and in this tutorial I'm going to be showing you how to make some kawaii flower cows using polymer clay. I've been seeing a lot of people recently on TikTok in particular crocheting these style cows so I thought I would give it a go using polymer clay and teach you along the way. So you want to start off with a ball of white polymer clay for the head, as well as the color that you're going to be featuring on your cow charm. For me, the first one I'm going to be making is a yellow sunflower cow. So we have a ball for the head, and then you want to shape another piece of white clay into a teardrop and trim off the pointed end with your blade so that you have a flat surface to work with. Connect these two pieces of clay together and then you can also blend the join so that they stay nice and secure. Next, we are moving on to the face. So for your cow's nose, flatten down a piece of your colored clay into an oval and then you wanna position this on the front of the face down on the lower half. You can then create two indents with your dotting tool where you would like the eyes to go and then add in two balls of black clay. For the cheeks, I attached on two smaller balls of pink polymer clay and I positioned these beside each eye. To create the ears, start off with two even sized balls of your colored clay and roll these into teardrop shapes on your work surface. Flatten the clay down slightly and then create two more teardrop shapes using a light pink clay, but make them a little bit smaller this time. And then you can trim off part of the ear on an angle so that it sits nicely on your cow's head. Position the ears on either side and then blend down the clay to make them nice and secure. For the horns, I rolled a very short coil of tan colored clay and I trimmed this in half and then also attached these to the head on the inner side of the ears. Next up, we are going to finish off the body. So here I am making the cow's arms or its front legs, I guess. Take two pieces of white clay and roll them into teardrops on your work surface. And with your blade, you want to cut off the rounded part. Then roll two colored balls of clay and position these where you just trimmed off the white part of the teardrop. And you wanna pat these down to replace it and create that teardrop shape again. As you can see, I actually removed the body from the head on mine so that it was a lot easier for me to attach on the front legs. But here I am positioning them on either side. And then to make the cow's body and head extra secure because I found that it was still quite loose, I added some wire in the center and then I attached it this way for extra reinforcement. I'm also taking my needle tool and I'm blending down the join as well. Next up, we are going to create the cow's back legs. So these ones are less rounded than the front legs. Roll two pieces of white polymer clay into cylinders on your work surface and do the same thing with some yellow clay as well or whatever color you're using. And then you can attach it all together and roll them back out so that the join becomes a lot more seamless. Position these two legs together on your work surface and then using a round cookie cutter, I am trimming off the very top part so that it sits nice and flat with the bottom of my cow's body. Now we are moving on to some of the finer details. So I started off by adding a little yellow patch on the front of my cow's body and you can add as many or as few of these as you would like. To create the handle or the strap of the little sunflower bag, I'm taking some dark green polymer clay and rolling a nice thin coil on my work surface. You then want to fold this clay around on itself and twist it together to create a nice twirly effect. Connect the very end of the green swirl to your cow's body and then you want to wrap it over the shoulder and across the back as well and make sure to trim off any of the excess clay with your blade. 
Now to create the sunflower, you can start off with six little teardrops of yellow clay and position these together in the center. To make my sunflower look a little bit more full, I then attached on six more yellow teardrops on top of this. I will be honest, this isn't my favorite sunflower and I wish that I did do the petals a little bit of a different way, but that's just how I did it in this video. As you can see, I then also attached on a brown piece of clay in the center. And then here I am using some Sculpey Bacon Bond, which is a liquid clay that kind of acts like a glue, and I'm attaching on the flower. Taking the same dark green color clay as I used for the bag strap, I'm then creating two little leaves, which I added to my cow's head, and then I added the sunflower on top as well. Don't forget to also create a tail and add it to the back of your design. Finally, to finish off this cow, you can position on two small black pieces of clay to the nose for the little nostrils. So the next two kawaii cows that you saw at the start of the video were made the exact same way, except that I'm making the flowers a little different. So for this first cow, or second cow I should say, um, it is a cherry blossom or sakura flower cow. For this flower, I started off with five little petals which I connected together in the center, and then I used my scalloped edge blade to trim off a small section out of each petal to create the cherry blossom shape. You can then take some pink chalk pastels and a thin paintbrush and shade the very middle of this flower and then add on some thin coils of dark pink clay. Finally, for the nectar part of the flower in the center, I attached on some gold micro marbles and then this is what it looks like. For the bag strap on this little pink cow, I am using some gold colored polymer clay. I made it the exact same way by twisting the clay. And then here I am using my Sculpey Bacon Bond to make sure that my cherry blossom bag is nice and secure. Like my sunflower cow, I am also adding a flower detail to the top of this cow's head as well. The final cow I created is supposed to be inspired by like a purple daisy. Here I'm creating the flower and this time the petals are a lot more pointed rather than round. I did keep this flower design quite simple, just keeping it as purple petals and a yellow center. Looking at it now, I do wish I added a little bit more detail like some texture or shading, but I guess it's a little bit too late now. The bag strap on this one is a bright green color, which I twisted together and then I added on the purple daisy bag, as well as some bright green leaves and a purple daisy on the head. So if you would like to make your cow designs into charms, you can go ahead and add an eye pin, and then it's time to bake these little guys in your oven according to your package's instructions. After baking, I took some super glue and I used this to secure the eye pins so they wouldn't fall out. So here you can see that I'm removing them from the clay and adding on a little bit of super glue. Finally, for my glaze to make it nice and shiny, I added some UV resin. So here are what the finished kawaii cow charms look like when they're done. Starting off with the yellow sunflower design, I think this one's probably my favorite because it was the first one that I originally thought of when I was making these charms. Then we have the pink cherry blossom cow, and I really like the flowers on this one. And finally, we have the little purple daisy cow, which is quite simple, but purple is my favorite color, so I guess I do have a soft spot for it. I really love how these three charms turned out and how they look together. If you enjoyed this polymer clay tutorial, please don't forget to give it a big thumbs up and also subscribe to my channel for lots more crafty videos. And I will see you next time. Bye guys.